Hi, I want to talk to you today about the book Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. So in this book, our protagonist, our main character, her name is Aza Holmes, and she suffers from a type of anxiety that kind of borders on hypochondria. So she thinks that she's always going to catch some deadly disease, and she's really worried about bacteria, and um, she looks stuff up on her phone about different cases and case studies, uh, and that's kind of the world that her mind gets trapped in. Um, so with that, though, she is um, in high school, and she has her best friend, Daisy, and the story opens with the two of them learning about uh, this missing person, so this uh, millionaire that if somebody knows any information about him, uh, they are encouraged to call the authorities, and if they can help the police to find him, uh, they are promised a $10,000 reward. Um, actually, I think it's $100,000 reward. Um, so Daisy reminds Aza that, you know, didn't you know his son at one point? And uh, Aza did go to this uh, camp with the millionaire's son. His name is Davis. And he, um, they both ended up at this camp because Aza and Davis had both uh, lost their parents at one point in their life. Aza's father passed away when she was young and Davis's mom died when he was younger. So that's how they met each other. Um, so they end up in this weird way, uh, making it onto um, the property that Davis's uh, father owns. And then um, she hasn't talked to him in years, but then he says, that, yes, you know, th this is my friend. I know this person. And then from there, we, we kind of start the story going. Now, Davis doesn't know at first that the reason they first got there was to try to find out information about uh, his missing father. Um, but he's just kind of seems like really desperate to talk to somebody and have a friend. It doesn't seem like he has anybody that he really talks to. Davis has a younger brother, but his brother is just so consumed with, um, you know, the loss of their father because they can't find him. They don't know where he's gone. Uh, and there's all these stories around, you know, his business and things that were legal or illegal, uh, and just nobody knows what's going on. Um, so in the midst of all of this, we see Aza struggling with her anxiety and trying to cope with that and trying to find ways to get better. Uh, or different mechanisms to help her to um, go about her day on a, you know, just a kind of normal uh, basis like other people that she witnesses around her. Um, we have her best friend Daisy who um, she's going through some stuff of her own and she's in a relationship for the first time and, you know, she feels like um, her friend doesn't really talk to her as much. And then Davis and Aza kind of... Um, you know, they reconnect in this friendship, and then it starts turning into more than that. Um, so it's very well done. John Green, as you know, probably uh, is an amazing writer. He has lots of other books. Um, so this one does not disappoint uh, in his um, collection of stories. So I recommend Turtles All the Way Down by John Green as your next read.